Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. One of the biggest questions I got on this project was how to package these. Stay tuned. Didn't you just fall in love with these minis? I know so many of you are planning on making them and so many of you made some on the day that I posted the video. And one common question just kept popping up. How would I package these to gift or to sell? Well, I have a little idea. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for the wonderful way in which you support me and my channel. In a previous video, we made these sweet mini booklets and I'll have it linked in the description box below for those of you who might have missed it. But for those of you who watched it and especially for those of you who are planning on making it, packaging is very important to you. So what I've done is created a packaging idea just for this little mini. And I'm going to give you a closer look at that packaging idea in just a minute. But you all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Well, here is the little mini booklet unpackaged. And remember, I put some teas and some chocolates in the one that I made with you guys. But these are just perfect as Secret Santa gifts to sell at a craft fair, to give to a coworker, or to change the paper and make it a gift for any season, any reason, anyone. But here is the packaging idea that I have for this. I already have one of the little books in here and the way that it works is we simply slide out and there we have our book and the book itself has the ribbon around it and then we have a decorative little holder for the book. But when you slide it back in the holder, you have a gift ready to give or you have an item for your craft fair table ready to sell. This is going to be so easy to make. It'll only take you minutes to make your own custom packaging for the little mini booklets that you might be making. Here's what you're going to need to make it. Y'all, it's going to be so simple to make this. I have 24 inches of satin ribbon. I have a six and a half by 12 inch piece of decorative cardstock that coordinates well with the books. And then I have a piece of scrap and I'll be using this scrap just as the background mat for this little piece of ephemera. And because I was using a word page and I did have some scraps of this left over, I simply cut out the word joy from one of the slots on this page. So look to some of the papers that you have and just cut out or cut around it to get that sentiment or that ephemera that you might need for your project. And y'all, when I say that this is going to be a very quick and easy project to make, it really is. So on the 12 inch side, we are going to score at one and seven eighths, at five and five eighths, at seven and a half, and at 11 and a quarter. Then let's turn it to the six and a half inch side and we're going to score at one and a quarter and at five and a half. And then we're simply going to fold and burnish all of our scores. Now remember, I promised you easy and I am going to keep that promise because this is super, super easy. So that score that we made at one inch, we're actually going to fold it backwards and I didn't orient my paper properly. So my words are upside down, but I am not going to let that stop me from completing this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have two corner pieces on that narrow glue flap that we need to remove. So all I'm doing is going to the score mark and removing those two pieces and this becomes my adhesive flap. Then I'm going to go along the bottom and the top and everywhere that I have a score mark, I am going to angle on both sides of that score mark. So we're going to do this top and bottom.
Then I'm going to take my glue and on that one inch end, we are going to just apply some glue to these flaps, fold them over and get them stuck. Again, my words are upside down. Most of you who have been with me for a while, y'all know I wouldn't be me if on occasion I didn't orient upside down. So now all I'm going to do is find the front, which is this panel here, and I know it's the front because here's my glue flap, and when I glue this to the glue flap, that glue flap will be here in the back, so this is the front. And all I'm going to do is take my oval punch and try to punch through these two pieces. And now I have this. So now I can take my glue and we can place our glue on the glue flap. We can close this and now we have a sweet little flat fold. If you're making this for a craft fair or if you want to make up bunches of these to be able to give out being able to make this as a flat fold and then pulling it out when you need it really does come in handy. So all we're going to do now is fold in the side pieces. Let's add some glue to the side pieces. Then we're going to fold in the flap that's on the back. And then I can add some glue to this flap. We can now take this and get it stuck. I'm just going to use this to go on the inside and make sure that I have a pretty good stick on my box. And you can see how simple and gorgeous this is. So now I can take my book, I'm going to take my ribbon, and when I place my ribbon in, I'm going to place the ribbon just like that and then I'll slide the book in and I'm just going to tie or attempt to tie a halfway decent bow. And I always give myself a little bit more ribbon than I need because I'd rather have my ribbon be too long and have to cut it than to have it be too short and have to toss it. Just going to play with that just a little bit and now I'm going to use my scissors and just trim then I'm going to take my little mini lighter I'm not going to touch the ribbon I'm just getting close to it with some heat and this will stop the fraying by causing the fibers in the ribbon to melt So that's already pretty. I am just going to take this little joy and just a little bit of glue. We're going to take this and put it down just like that. Then I'll bring in my trimmer and we're just going to trim around it to get that nice little border like that and so now you can just take this and you can pretty much place it wherever you want and I think that I am going to place it right in here so I'm just going to add some glue we're going to get that stuck Y'all, I didn't speed up. I didn't rush. This is actually how quick it will be for you to make this box. This box, when finished, measures four and a quarter by three and three quarters by one and three quarters on the side. So it does fit this little book that we have made perfectly. It is a great way to give these books as a gift or to sell them however you want to do it. Those of you who wanted a packaging option for these little booklets, there you go. 
So I hope that you have enjoyed this quick and easy way to make custom packaging for the items that we make. If you have enjoyed this video, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.